for the cheapest Madden 22 coins in the game, man. Make sure you guys go check out GameMS.com. I'm talking a million coins for like $60. That is insane. Go over there, use code SLAY, get you an additional 6% off, and build that God Squad. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another Madden 22 video. We got a Cleveland Browns theme team gameplay, and it's a breakdown of how I won a game without ever playing offense. Yes, we didn't take one snap on offense. Insane, man. I'm telling you, because Madden 22... It's just crazy. The offense is so easy to move the ball down the field. Usually defense is the problem. But hey, we had a crazy game for my guy, Josh Cripps. He stepped up big time in his first ever game with the Cleveland Browns theme team. So if you guys do enjoy these film breakdowns, you know, we're able to rewind the video. We'll talk about things and just go over the entire game. I'm always recording, so I would love to do more of these. So let me know down below if you guys enjoy this. Leave a like on it. Hit that subscribe button if you are new. And make sure you guys go check out acemadden.com for your, all your offense and defensive ebooks. Use code SLATE for 10% off a Pro Elite membership. Let's get into the game. Now, this is a weekend league gameplay. It is, I think we were 3-0 and at this time. This is his top three. He's got Patrick Sertain, Lance Allworth, Saquon Barkley. Now, if you're wondering why I'm looking to the left, that's because that's where my monitor's at. There's our top three, Miles Garrett, Nick Chubb, and Ozzie Newsome. We're running the nickel 245 out. It's a big meta right now in the Madden community, if you guys don't know about this. He is coming out, and of course, gun bunch offset, so kind of go figure there. But this defense, I'm still learning it. It's kind of a struggle. I'm not going to lie to you. So we're going to see what he's going to want to do. He's coming out with Mahomes at quarterback. So he's got a fairly new team, you know. Our team, our top three look really good, but it is a 50-50 Browns theme team. So it's definitely behind the, the meta teams, you know. We're missing in a lot of places. So this is a fairly even match right here. So he gets a delay a game. First and 15. Let's see what he wants to do. We're user and jock. He does have pick artist. I believe he's 91 speed on our team. So he's going to dump it off. Of course, you know, them double drags right there. It's very hard to cover that play. He's going to hurry up offense, second and nine. We got to get a stop here, man. We've got to get a stop because it's hard. But there he goes again. You know, we just can't make it. He's got backfield mismatch. I believe that's what he got on Saquon Barkley. So Saquon Barkley is going to get those routes really good. And he's going to have better catching against the linebackers. Third down and four. Now there's a play coming up here that's just crazy to me. We'll rewind it so I can break it down for you guys, but I just don't understand how it happened. Now he's going to be running verticals out of gun bunch offset. It's a very good play. Beats a lot of coverages, but watch his Kyle Pitts. He catches it and then boom. What is Jabril Peppers doing? Watch this. Jabril Peppers just dives all by himself. Now you can see it wigs Bruh. me out, but Jabril Peppers right there at 21 just dives. All of a sudden, I don't know why he did that. He goes down the field. He celebrates on me. That is a big problem that pisses me off beyond belief. So right there, I just know it's lock-in time. Let's get it. So he's up 7-0, and he celebrated. I don't like that. Not a big fan. So let's go. He's going to kick it off to us. Big problem. We have one of the best kick returners in NFL history, Josh Cribbs, and he made a mistake. He didn't kick it to the fullback. He kicked it to Josh Cribbs. And what does Josh Cribbs do? What Josh Cribbs does. He takes it the distance. Josh Cribbs is going. That boy is going. He is gone. We celebrated back on him because, you know, if he's going to stunt, we got to stunt as well. So we're going to tie that bad boy up right there. Kick it back off. He's going to bring it out, Raheem Mostert. Mostert's about 90 speed, 91 speed, something like that. Get a nice stop on him. Coming back out, gun bunch offset as well. You know, we come out in 3-3-5 wide here. I'm a little bit more, little bit more like, comfortable in this defense. So, like I said, it's lock-in time, man. We just want to beat him down. And he's going to get this play right here, but we're going to come up and get it with Clowney. Clowney stepped up big for us, man. Second down and 10. Let's see what he wants to do. I can't remember if he runs verticals here. Yes, he does. And he's going to lob it up, man. One of the problems, if you take a look at this right here, I've been, if you watched the previous play before this, we back our corner off so we don't get burnt because we just don't have the speed there. So let's take a look at that. Where is that at? Yeah, you can see right here, Denzel Ward is backed off. We do that adjustment every time because I know that he could burn us deep. But for some reason, it didn't want to work. And he catches it with uh, Fuller and breaks a tackle and scores and goes up seven again. I'm like, come on, man. We got to be able to, our adjustments got to work, man. We got to be able to make our quick adjustments and for them to register. For some reason, sometimes they just don't register. I want to know, are you guys having that same problem? So he's up 14 to seven. Well, he didn't learn from his mistake, and he's going to kick it to Josh Cribbs again. Big, big problem, man. Josh Cribbs, right up center. He's going to break a tackle right here, and Josh Cribbs is off to the races. It's up to him and Fabian Maru. What is going to happen? Josh Cribbs toast him 95 speed. Easy touchdown. Tie it up 14-14. Is he going to learn to stop kicking to Josh Cribbs or what? 
This time, I did the adjustment, and it didn't back him off again, so I'm getting frustrated now. I'm just trying to dive and make a tackle. The flat route is unguardable at a bunch offset, so he's going to flip his bunch, of course. We're going to flip ours. That's fine. If people start doing that, I'll turn my auto align off, or um, my defensive flip off, and he gets a nice little route right there, but we cheat him. But I'll turn my defensive flip off. That's a good tip if you guys are ever playing a bunch flipper. Turn your defensive uh, flip off and then just come out it where the bunch would be on the wide side of the field, okay? So that's all you got to do to beat that. So that's what I'm doing here. But he, I don't think he flips it right here. So you can see I come out, I turned it off, I got my corner on the other side because the way you should run bunch is your bunch to the wide side. But he keeps it on the short side right here. So he's just calling a bunch of hot routes. He's going to snap it. He's going to run double posts. He's going to throw the drag to Kyle Pitts and get almost the first down. Nice little set, third and one, I believe. Yes, third and one. So we're going to try to send some heat. I'm realizing that I got to start sending pressure. I don't think I do it this time. I'm kind of playing a double Mabel. I got, like I said, I got my flat set to 20 and my curl flat set to five. And he throws it to Jabril Peppers and Jabril Peppers gets the pick. Insane play by him, man. He played it perfect. You know, we got a stun on him. He stunned it on us once. You're getting it every time we score, man. Every time we score. So let's go back and take a look at how Jabril Peppers played that. Jabril Peppers is coming up in our slot corner. We have him there because our corners are so bad. So Jabril Peppers is on top of the RB route. And he's just going to play that perfect, man. So easy money. Jabril Peppers off to the races, man. Big play right there from Jabril. Like I said, stun on that, man. We're going to go up 21 to 14. Still have not taken an offensive snap. A lot of points. And it's not even the second quarter yet. So we're going to kick it back off to him. He's going to bring it back out with Mostert again. We should have got a really big hit right there, but it didn't give it to us. But hey, we got him down to the 17, so that's a dub for us in our opinion. Gun bunch offset again. I think I start, you can see right there, we back Denzel Ward off like we've been trying to do all game so he doesn't burn us because it's so easy to just run by these corners. And then he is going to go back to, that might have been matched, but we get the pick. Oh, no, we do not. Pick artist, for some reason, I've been hearing it super glitchy. It has not really been working for me. I want to know if it's been working for you guys. It did not work for me right there, man. And I haven't really noticed it too much. So I might end up taking that off. I do like user and jock. I can't wait for him to get another card, but nothing's working with that pick artist. And that's like one of the only abilities he can get. But he throws it again, blind. He had his tight end wide open. Watch. Boom, wide open he had him. But he threw that route, man. He's just staring one thing down. But again, we can't come up with the tip drill pick, which is very unfortunate for us. I wish that we could have. That would have been a huge dub, man, to get that ball. Right there at, that, at the 17-yard line. Threw it on verticals again, man. And we just did not get it. He threw it on the break. Great route. Joe Hayden did not play it, even though Joe Hayden has acrobat. I really expect Joe Hayden to break on that. Let's see. We're trying to back up our corner here. Are we going to get it off? It's not giving it to us. We did it, so we had to manually back him off. I hate that. Luckily, he gets a delay a game. But you can see that I don't know why it's doing that to me. I'm trying to do my quick adjustments, trying to back him off. It did not back him off. We would have got burnt for a touchdown, especially if he was running verts under. So I'm glad it let me do that. We're trying to hear again. It finally does it, backs him off. We're going to send some pressure here, I believe. Yes, 3-3-5 three, three, wide pressure. All you got to do is um, you can press your defense, slant outside, keep your linebackers blitzing. And he throws it to Jabril Peppers again, man. Stunt on him from the 15. And we are going to go down at the two. I should have scored, but hey, I knew this dude didn't want the smoke. And he is going to jump out of the game and quit, man. Big dub for us. I know it was just a different type of video. It wasn't much film to break down. But, hey, I wanted to show you how we won a game. We never took an offensive snap. And that's from two picks from Jabril Peppers. One a pick six. Two kick return touchdowns from Josh Cribbs. Insane, man. I'm really liking the way the team's playing. Also, we just beat the Bears. So I'm hoping we can get a team of the week upgrade. Maybe Miles, a plus one to his power up or... Just some other upgrade. I'll even take an 87 Baker. Like, you know how they do the 87 cards? They give me one of those, man. It'd be a big dub. Or we get some people on Wild Card Wednesday. But either way, man, I just had a lot of fun with this game. Josh Cribbs returning kicks reminded me of old times. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like on it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. I'll catch you guys on the next one.